Oh. Yeah. Did something come off? I think it looked... Did it actually? If you have a DJI Vata and you're constantly crashing it and it feels really unstable when you're flying it, I feel your pain. But for the last few weeks, I've been trying something that will instantly make it feel better. No, not quite that just yet. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a very simple upgrade that you can do to your Vata today. And the next time you fly, it will feel so much better. Literally instant results, because let's be honest, that's what we want. But first, let me show you what the DJI Vata is like without this upgrade, so we know what we're working with. And by the way, all the flying that you're seeing in this video is done with the DJI FPV controller and not the motion controller. I always feel like anytime you wanna do something, it's really slow to respond. For instance, now, if I flip it and then give it some throttle, it's just not responsive. Everything seems to be slow. And because of that, you overcompensate by giving it more throttle. And then it looks really unnatural when you look in the actual footage. It's the one thing about the Avata I don't like. Whoa, he's gonna bounce, he's playing basketball. <laughs> so let's solve that. A few recommendations have been made to me over the last few months, and one of them is a third party brand called Master Airscrew. It turns out they don't just make one, but actually two different types of propellers that fit the Avata. And supposedly, just by changing four small pieces of plastic on your Avata, it will improve the overall performance quite drastically. But what the term performance actually means, we'll get to shortly. There's other ways that you can change the performance of your DJI Avata. You can buy third-party motors. However, doing so will void the warranty because you need to solder them directly to the flight controller, which is inside the Avata. So you'd have to take it all apart. I can't say for sure whether changing the propellers to third-party ones will actually void the warranty or not, but changing your propellers on the Avata is definitely the easiest way to improve the performance. Or is it? The two types of propellers that Master Airscrew make are three blade propellers and four blade propellers. And they don't just come in these colors, they come in a small variety of colors to fit your aesthetic. And with the original propellers having five blades, I know what you're gonna say. Surely five blades on a propeller is better than four and especially three. So let's find out. Let's see what the four bladed propellers are like and see how it feels in the air. So I've just changed the propellers and the first thing I've noticed is that one of the propellers, this one here, it actually catches the duct, like the, the surrounding area from the DJI Avata frame. It shouldn't cause a problem for any of the motors because it's only ever so slight. But regardless, after a few spins, something's gonna be shaven down to the size it should be. Um, so we should be okay, but something to be aware of. Instantly better. Would you say it's louder? Oh shit. Yeah, it's louder. Oh my God, this is so much better. Like instantly, like it's more responsive. It feels like the old FPV drones, what I used to fly. It's definitely louder. It's almost got like a different pitch to it, but responsiveness, it feels so much better. I'm a lot more confident flying this now. But in terms of flying and the feeling, we have an incredible transformation. But why? Well, the original propellers seem to have a smaller pitch angle and also a smaller surface area per blade, especially when comparing them to the three blade propellers that look absolutely monstrous. But at the same time, I am definitely not an aerodynamics engineer. I'm just a guy who makes YouTube videos. So take that with a pinch of salt. But I also think a big factor of this is actually down to the stiffness of the blade. A stiffer blade will flex less, therefore giving the most amount of efficiency when it comes to the thrust. But having stiffer blades can come with some serious problems, which I was about to find out. All the extra grass on the Avata just makes it fly so much smoother, like extra twigs stuck in the motors, anything like that. It just, it just adds to the experience, don't you, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It this feels, feels so much better. Oh, even better? Yeah. Yeah, th this is better. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> It sounds... But I could never catch... Like, when that fell then, I could never do that with the original propellers. Really? 100%. Like, I would have hit the ground then. Feels nice. Feels really nice. A million times better in performance. Confident flying. Like, that's the biggest thing with these propellers. And you need all the help you can get. Oh. He's done it again. I don't know why they will have broken. All I can say is they got caught on something because they're bigger and they protrude out from the body a little bit more. Maybe that was it. It's not a technical scientific answer. And it fell probably 
Maybe about 10 meters. How many times have you crashed a drone with the original propellers and they haven't snapped? I've crashed this, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 times. And I've only broken the original propellers once and that's when it caught fire. Oh, bad. Well, at least he's consistent. He's crashed all three. So um, it's not the propellers, at least. We know that. But with larger, stiffer blades and propellers comes a decrease in actual flight time. Or so I would have suspected anyway. When you're flying any drone, the length of time you can have the drone in the air and fly it greatly depends on the wind and also the style of flying that you're doing. If you're just hovering and there's no wind, you're gonna be able to have the drone in the air for longer as opposed to flying it around like you've stolen it like I do sometimes. So I decided to get the drone in the air and just leave it to hover with a full battery for each set of propellers just to see what the hover times would actually be. The original five bladed propellers from DJI gave me a flight time of around about 18 minutes, which isn't a bad benchmark. Whereas the three bladed propellers gave me no surprise whatsoever, bringing the flight time down to around about 16 and a half minutes but still not too bad. But the four bladed propellers did actually surprise me. The flight time that they gave me didn't actually differ that much from the original flight time of 18 minutes, bringing it down to around about 17 minutes 35. But from my time of using these propellers and the experience being nothing but incredible, I would highly recommend them. And I actually don't think I'll ever fly my Avatar again without having a set of these on. I've flown FPV drones for quite a while. And when I first got the Avatar, I felt like something was missing. And that one thing was my confidence in the drone. And that's pretty important. But these little plastic things, which in the grand scheme of things are fairly inexpensive, have given me that confidence back to be able to fly the Avata in much more difficult situations. But between the two options of propellers, which ones would I really recommend? I feel like the three bladed propellers are much more responsive. However, the four bladed propellers are much more balanced. It felt very much like flying the Avatar originally, however, having a lot more control over what you want to do. The three bladed propellers, I feel, gave you a lot more power. And with that, you've got to have your wits about you. So if you want more confidence, more performance, more speed, and more enjoyment without having to upgrade your drone or change anything like your motors and voiding your warranty, get yourself a set of these. I'll leave a link to Amazon down below if you want to pick them up. Now, if you're still struggling with the Avatar and wanting to nail down manual mode, Watch this video right here. See you soon.